Hello, this is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. Listen, today I was listening to some conversations. I'm an eavesdropper, okay? I will be the first one to admit that I'm an eavesdropper. But the discussion was on employment. And the question, or the, not the question, but the conversation went in this tone, in this line, is that individuals who are in the hiring capacity, they're the bosses, they're the the ones trying to hire people in. The cost of employees has gone up significantly. So the question now to employ future employees is, what is your expertise? What is your experience level? Because they don't want to spend so much money on employees if they've got to do so much training. And I can understand that very well. Why spend so much money on an individual on an hourly basis that you're going to have to spend so many hours of training and they're going to be gone within a few weeks or months? I just saw a poll that was taken in LinkedIn and they said, can you, do you see that, uh, 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 the the question was, are you going to change jobs in the next two years? 98%, I'm sorry, 97% came back and said, yes, we're going to change jobs. So the question again is, what is your expertise? Because are you worth the dollar amount that we are prepared to pay? Are you worth that amount? Or are you going to be gone in two years? What are you going to contribute to this company that's a value that we can grow the company with? If I have to spend two years in training and making sure that you're doing the job correctly and then you leave me in two years, I'm going to hire somebody that has more experience. A few months ago, the healthcare industry were coming and saying, listen, we can no longer deal with the younger employee. They're, they're not loyal. They are not focused on what they're doing. They have all of these other motivations of taking the job, but it's nothing to do with the company. We want to hire, we want to hire seasoned employees. Individuals who have done the job before know what they're doing, who is dedicated and is worth putting in the time. We don't want to deal with any more of this, these young individuals who expect something from us that, that, that feel as though that they have something that, uh, oh, I want to say it nicely, but I can't think of a nice, nice way to say it. So I, I guess I'll just blend it out. In other words, we owe them. They don't owe us. Okay. They're coming into the company and say, you owe me this, 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 and this. But they're not saying what they can do for the company. So employers around the nation, you may see that there's a whole bunch of people sitting out there with job openings. But right now everything's on pause because the quality of the employee just is not the same as it used to be. People who are dedicated, who people who wanted to move up, people who wanted to advance their careers by developing new techniques and technologies and serving their clients to the best of their ability at the highest professionalism level. At the highest professionalism. No, at the highest professional level. Why do I always want to put ism on there? <laughs> But that is the problem that we're seeing now. And I think that we have to also, for those of you who are out looking for jobs, get this point, okay? In 2022 is the highest amount of business for companies that create robots. It has gone up 40% just in 2022. That means employees are being replaced with robots because robots don't cost as much. There's no payroll taxes. There's no labor costs. There's no insurance costs. And you've seen companies like McDonald's and other companies that you now, you just go into a kiosk. In fact, when I, I go into McDonald's now, I don't even go in. I just key it on my computer and I pick it up at the drive-thru. 
It's done with. I'm done with it. I don't have to deal with anybody. So you have got to ask yourself, if you are a seasoned employee, you can make a buck of money. Bucket bucket of money. I'm not having a good speaking day today. You can make a bucket of money because they want you. Companies want you because you have the expertise and the seasonalism to be able to take on that role. So listen, if you are at the younger age and if you're just entering into the employment market, make sure that you're focused on an expertise, what you are really good at. You may be really good at finance. You may be really good or you can develop to be good at production, at management, at finance, at accounting, at whatever. Make sure you have an expertise and a proven expertise. And you have to be willing to put in the time and not be griping and moaning and groaning because it's just not up to your standards, which is all about you. You have the responsibility. You can make a bucket of money if you can just focus on an expertise and get really, really good at it. That's why companies are now hiring these individuals who have this experience. That's why they hire me as an in, as a uh, advisor because I've got the experience level that is necessary to advise companies on certain areas of business. I was... L- reading a story again on LinkedIn and it was of this coffee coffee shop and they had seven employees and they shut down they shut down for the pandemic and then as they were shut down the employees decided hey we want to become unionized so they just started to unionize well the company began to look at the cost factor of Unionization, and they felt that that would drive up the cost so much that they could no longer sell a product that people would buy. So they decided not to reopen. They shut the company completely down. You see, sometimes when you are so focused on the dollar amount, and you become so greedy that you use an outside labor union, Sometimes companies are going to fail. So when you are looking at unionization, I want you to carefully look at what the costs are going to, how it's going to affect that small company. And this has happened not just to one company that I'm talking about. It has happened to many companies. So what we have to look at as employers, I want somebody with experience. I want somebody that I'm not going to have to spend hours training for a huge sum of money. As I've said before and so many times is that if you look at the financial statement of any company and if you look at the salary and wages line, that is the highest number, the highest number in the expense of a business. Highest amount. So understand when companies say, I want to know more about you. I want to know what your experience level and expertise is because I don't want to spend wasted money. And this is happening in the healthcare industry. It's happening in the coffee business. It's happening in in all sorts of different types of companies where employers are now looking at if we are going to spend this much money on wages, salaries and wages, we want the best. We want the individual that has the experience. I I think it's interesting because times have changed. It used to be, uh, I'm going to speak on the accountant side, it used to be that an average accountant used to stay, used to stay at an employee, at his an employ- at an employer, at a job, 2.5 years. That's not very long. So that means you're hiring a newbie in, and he's going to be there two and a half years. 
What is he going to put into that company in that two and a half years? How much training hours and dollar amounts and CPE and everything else is it going to cost to keep that employee when he has no experience? And he's only going to last there for two and a half years. I think it's probably even shorter now. I look at resumes now when they come in, and I can see that they've been at the company six months, a year, a year, two years. <clears throat> Very short time stays. And I keep telling these people, hey, 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 slow it down. <coughs> you, I'm sorry if I'm coughing. Today, the pollen level is so high here in South Carolina. And it has literally affected my voice. In my breathing. <clears throat> so if I cough, it's not because I want to do it, though it's on purpose. That's because this pollen level is just really getting to me at the moment. I just got a pollen notice just now on my computer saying pollen, pollen level at red zone, red line. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's unprofessional to cough, but I'm sorry. I just can't do it. But I still want to get this message out to you. So if you are an employee, a young employee... Focus on what your expertise is going to be. Focus on how much time you're giving to that company. Focus on what you're willing to do for that company to make them a success. It's not always about money because I tell you, if you're getting paid for to build up your experience level, that's great because later on in life you can move on to someplace else. For those of you who are retired and you might be taking it easy but you're getting tired of being at home all the time people need you out there go out and get those jobs even if it's on a consultancy basis go out and do it because don't let your expertise go to waste people need you companies are asking for you get out there and and do it so that's my, that's my topic on employment and employees, expertise, and experience. And that's it for, for today. Listen, if you would like more access to me and want to sit down and go through a coaching session on business, let me know. You can go to my website and book an appointment online at www.lodge.com. Again, that's www.lodge.com. Dot com. If you would like to help me out on my podcast and go and listen and read all my vlogs, that I, the vlogs and blogs and everything else that I do over there, go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. Again, that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. And you can get me there. Times have changed. Automation is is looking like it's going to take more of an active role within the workforce, especially in manufacturing and food service and everything else. Those individual jobs are going to be taken away by automation, by robots. It's just here. It's come. Those of you who think the service level is going to build up the economy, you're wrong. What needs to build up this economy and get rid of inflation is manufacturing. We need to begin manufacturing here at home. So I really want you to think about that. Listen, this is Mike Lodge. I'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.